So you clicked on this video because you're about to get a pit bull puppy. Right now, I'm going to give you 14 important tips on getting started to the right path of you being the best dog owner that you can be. We don't even need an intro. I'm going to just get right started. Okay, I lied. I'm sorry. We needed that intro because if you're new to the channel, you need to subscribe right now. We're all about the bull breeds, how to kill the bad stereotypes and become better owners. So let's get started. So number one on my list is get your dog vaccinated and dewormed. You definitely want to get those vaccinations in when they're a puppy. You know, when you're introducing a dog or a puppy to like an older dog, that older dog could carry some of the diseases that your dog or your new puppy could catch. The dog that's older may not be sick, but your puppy could definitely get sick from it. So you want to get your dog vaccinated as soon as possible. It's very important. Number two on the list is don't cheap out on training. Now, if you want to invest in yourself to train your dog properly, that is a good start. You could definitely look up videos on YouTube, but um, you definitely want to get the proper training in for your dog. Specifically, the first thing you should be doing is potty training your dog. That's very important. You don't want pee or poop all over your house, your apartment, so it's very important. Also, when you're training your dog, you could build your bond with them. So that's another important thing. That's supposed to be your companion, right? So. When you're having the proper training, they look at you as their leader and you're building a bond with them. Don't cheap out on training. If you invest in a high ticket training program, it's probably better than investing in a lower ticket because a higher ticket, it's probably a lot more proper training. The right techniques for, uh, let's say, sit down, lay, leave it, all that good stuff. And the cheap ones could give you like the runaround of basic puppy training. When you first get your puppy, you're going to want to buy the right equipment for your puppy. So that can include like a dog bowl, a collar, a leash, a crate if you want to create your dog when you're at work, um, shampoos, you can have poop bags if you know you have to go pick up your dog's poop after they go use the restroom. These are all mandatory stuff that you need when you do have a puppy. I will link some of these recommended products I have for you guys in the description. So go ahead and check that out. Learn what kind of dog foods that your dog could be eating. Now, on this channel, we talk about raw diet in some of my previous videos, but you need to find what's better or what's best for your puppy. So I don't believe all kibbles are bad. There's like a few that I would, you know, feed my dog, but raw diet is good for us, let's say. So maybe a uh, raw diet is good for you. So you want to know what you want to feed your dog for the proper health, the proper growth. Exercise your dog every day. I know a lot of people have like a nine to five job and it's kind of hard to do that, you know, based on their hours that they work, but at least two to three times a week. When you see your dog start getting this pent up energy, it's time to go exercise them. So that is very important when you do get your puppy. Never leave your dog alone with other dogs or kids. Now the real American Pitbull Terrier is animal aggressive, so you already know not to leave them with other dogs. Sometimes dogs don't recognize kids as people. So that's when, you know, accidents start to happen and it's very preventable. So that's a big tip right there. Do not leave them alone with other dogs or kids. It could start a fight and you definitely want to avoid that. When you're out in public, always have a leash on your dog. Now we already know the stereotypes of these dogs, but in my opinion, the leash is for your dog's own safety. You never know what another dog is gonna do or how people react to your dog, so you definitely want that leash on them at all times. Next one is avoid dog parks. Now in my own personal experience, dog parks are very like, it's a recipe for disaster. So when you go there, first things first, you could catch, a, or your dog could catch a lot of diseases from other dogs. If you're not vaccinated, again, that refers back to number one. They learn very bad social skills there. And third, you know, people just don't want your dog there, to be honest with you guys. I've seen it happen to me. So avoid dog parks, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't socialize your dogs to new situations. That's another one combined to dog parks. You definitely want to socialize, but dog parks are not the place to start for socialization. It is mandatory to house proof your home. Now, what I mean by houseproof is when puppies are puppies, you know, they chew on everything. So you want to take away extension cords, um, detrimental plastics or hard stuff that they could eat like an obstruction to their stomach, socks, you know, shoes, shoelaces, all that could be very detrimental to your dog. 
But obviously they learn to stay away from that stuff when they're older, but when it's a puppy, you need to house proof it. Next one is know your dog's temperament. Now, you gotta keep in mind that some dogs learn different. They learn at a different pace. So some dogs are barky shy. Some dogs are really good with people, with other dogs. Some dogs are nervous all the time. So you gotta know what kind of personality your dog has. And what that would do is help you avoid other situations. If your dog is nervous around everybody, let's say he's nervous around males. You want to stay away from males and eventually socialize it into being comfortable around males, vice versa with anything. Are you putting your nose in my camera view, boy? You better stop that. You need to know your dog's health problems and you need to keep up with their hygiene. To know your dog's health problem, you definitely want to look at like the mother and the father of your dog. Some, you know, short hair dogs, they're more prone to getting allergies and, um, like what is it called, the topic dermatitis, I made another video about that, they kind of try to diagnose him, but what the vet told me was, you know, short haired dogs are more prone to stuff like that, they're prone to hypothermia, their hips can go out, like hip, I believe it's called dysplasia, so definitely want to know the health problems that come with your dog, like the background of your dog. Hygiene is very important. You definitely want to cut your dog's nails at least two times a month or once a month. A lot of dog owners don't do it at all. So you want to cut their nails, you want to clean their ears, and you want to give them a bath at least uh, every month, every two to three months. I do it every two to three months. It's bad if you do it every week. You know, you could take some of the oils in your skin out and they could just have a dry coat. But anyways, that's a whole nother topic. Keep up with the hygiene, even dental hygiene. You want to clean out their mouth, you know, once a month or if you have them on a raw diet, that will probably do the job for you. But hygiene is very important when it comes to your dog. Visit the vet regularly. I don't care if your dog looks like in a tip top shape that it's ever been, muscular, very healthy, shiny, I don't care how healthy it looks, you still wanna send your dog to the vet. Get on an insurance plan if you can. I have an insurance plan with Banfield Hospital, so that's something that could be ideal for you. When you do get a pit bull puppy, there is a thing called breed specific legislation. So that can mean your dog is not legal in the area that you're living in. Luckily, I have an area where they accept pit bulls, even though he's not a pit bull, but they're still gonna label him a pit bull if he has pit bull blood in them. So you might need to do some paperwork and they need some mandatory sterilization if you wanna keep the dog. Um, I know some people that say they register their pit bull as a service dog. So you might need to go through that kind of paperwork. It really just depends on where you're at. So be prepared. Okay, last tip. Last but not least, this is a very important tip. Know if your dog is a real American Pitbull Terrier. I guarantee 99.9% .9 of y'all don't have a real American Pitbull Terrier. And that's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Just know what your dog is. If it's a Staffordshire Bull Terrier, Amstaff, Bull Terrier, the real American Pitbull Terrier is very hard to come across. I've actually had to learn and realize that later in my research on the breed. So that's why I made this channel so I could educate you guys on what a real American Pitbull Terrier is. My last video, I told you guys my Instagram was coming soon. So it's at Pitbulls Over Humans. You can follow me on Instagram there or join my Facebook group. I will put a link in the description below where you could go do that. Now leave a comment below if you feel like I left out some important tips for new pit bull owners to have. And if you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. We're all about the bully breeds, killing the bad stereotypes, and become better owners.